We have heard a lot this week about how the skyrocketing price of oil was making it necessary to drill in environmentally sensitive areas of our own country. The U.S. has some of the world's greatest reserves of coal, which could replace oil. But coal has always been considered a so-called dirty fuel, bad for the environment. But now utilities are testing technology to try to make coal clean. Wyatt Andrews has the facts in tonight's Eye on Energy. Coal is by far the dirtiest way America makes electric power, but you wouldn't know that from this ad campaign funded Coal. by industry. It's the resource that generates half of our electricity. A campaign promising a future of clean coal. Clean coal, America's power. And it's not just industry. The presidential candidates are also pushing clean coal. A way to produce coal generated power cleanly. We can have clean coal technology. But what is that technology? Is this what they call clean coal? This is the cleanest coal fired plant in North America. The cleanest coal plant in North America is operated by Tampa Electric in the middle of rural Florida. What makes it clean is that they don't burn coal exactly. They mix it with water and oxygen and convert it into a gas. Much lower sulfur dioxide emissions. According to company emissions. president John Rammel, gasifying coal allows the company to remove pollutants like sulfur, nitrogen, and soot, which virtually eliminates acid rain. You can do it much cleaner than with the conventional coal technology. That's the good news. Here's the problem. There is no such thing as clean coal today. James Hansen, NASA's expert on global warming, says all coal plants, even Tampa Electrics, still emit millions of tons of carbon dioxide, the most threatening greenhouse gas. There's no coal plant that captures the carbon dioxide, and that's the major long-term pollutant. But if carbon dioxide pollution is the problem with clean coal, scientists say there's a solution. They believe it's now possible to recover most of the CO2 and store it underground. The idea is called capture and sequester, and today a global race is on to learn how it should be done. One Norwegian firm is storing tons of CO2 in rock caves beneath the North Sea. America's efforts to sequester carbon have stalled. The Department of Energy planned to fund a plant seen in this animation, but pulled its funding when the price grew too high. It took seven years just to decide where they were going to make a pilot plant, and then they decided to cancel it. And now the failure to solve the CO2 problem is a threat to coal itself. In the last five years, at least 63 coal-fired power plants have been scrapped or defeated by public opposition. No more coal. No more coal. Well, Florida's governor, Charlie Crist, even helped pull the plug on two clean coal plants because he says without a carbon solution, forget clean coal. Until that time comes, we want to develop more solar, more nuclear, more wind. Which is why the industry needs an ad campaign. A commitment to clean. Until the federal government funds the research on carbon dioxide, America's reliance on coal is in long-term trouble. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Polk County, Florida.